Hetep, sacred woman, mother of mercy, our life, our inspiration, and our all. It is said when the goddess Nu decided to walk on earth amongst the mortals, she manifested a body that would maintain all of her heavenly powers. Thus, she took the dark matter that nourishes and sustains the universe. Then she fashioned it into a divine being that will forever be known as the black woman, womb of the mind, house of God. There is not enough adjectives to describe the goddess of the universe, vessel of honor. But how did the mother of civilization become so apparently powerless, so inept, and so impotent is the question. The answer is misinformation fed to her by her enemies and fools. In the woman, you have the true church of God. Why? Because there is no other temple that man can enter into and come out with new life. If her mate enters her mind with the true light of God, then all that she creates will reflect that immaculate concept. In fact, it is the male that is impotent. He is putting nothing worthy into the soil, and therefore he receives no worthy harvest. She has been waiting so long for her intercourse with her God that she has forgotten that it is you who she is waiting for. False gods have come before her and before you. And even dead gods have taken your place. The black man is sunk so low that we now host demigods. Demigods in the name of players, pimps, hustlers, dogs, liars, cheaters, and so on. This is what we're now bringing to the essence of God? And then expect for her to give us immortality? No wonder the black family is at zero population growth. When you put nothing in, you get nothing out. Nothing is a state of reality where many negative forces dwell, waiting to infringe themselves into being. Whose being? The God that is damned to be a fool, better known as the God damn fool. We must import nothing but the best, highest, and wisest into her and into our minds, or face utter damnation by the minds of the goddess. Yes, in reality, she is in control of your destiny. What she does not love will wither and die. What a spirit truly loves will enjoy immortality. All the problems that exist in the black man's world can be solved at the blink of her eye, but only when you serve her, God, on your man. and likeness of inter, the feminine side of God. My name is Orset, mother of mothers. I am the living manifestation of divine will, blessed mother of Haru, mother of divine grace, mother most pure, mother most chaste, mother undefiled, mother inviolate, mother most admirable, mother most amiable, in church of good counsel, reproductress of Haru the Redeemer, virgin most prudent, virgin most venerable, virgin most renowned, Virgin most powerful, virgin most merciful, virgin most faithful, mirror of justice, seat of wisdom, cause of our joy, spiritual vessel of honor, vessel of devotion, vessel of loyalty, sacred woman of holiness, for I have ascended, I have put away my faults, I have done away my offenses, I have cast out the isfit sins which were a part of me, I am the sacred womb of the mind, I purify myself and I rebirth a renewed people. I am a shining one, clothed in power, mighty, creatress of all. I come forth and I overthrow all my foes. My name my is Orset. Mother, mother of mothers. Mother of mothers. Mother of mother. Hetep, holy goddess, mother of mercy, our life, our inspiration, our all. To thee do we cry forgiveness for our transgressions against thee. We 